Okay, there is no way I could explain this in text. So let's just do it in a video. I'm gonna start in the style editor by just deleting all that or actually clicking out of here and replacing all this with styles. And I'm gonna go to stripes. Stripes is close to what we wanna do. First of all, you can make the speed minus or that'll make it go the correct direction. And we could make these stripes much bigger or maybe something like 2000 wide and we don't need four colors you just want red and green so we can delete these I'm just hitting tab space that's uh, that's a shortcut to move my cursor around see tab moves it to a different thing so when I'm here and I do tab now submit is highlighted and if I hit space it's enter so you won't see me coming down here and clicking that uh, I can just hit spacebar but it's the same as clicking anyway uh, so what were we doing? Well, now we can, we got two colors. Let's make them red and let's click here. We make that one green. <clears throat> and what do we get? It's moving a little too quick. Let's just slow it way down and take a look. So see what's happening here? Stripes uh, sort of has a blend between the two colors. It's like a gradient at the end of each of the stripes sections and because they're blending together we get yellow so it's not ideal and green is more powerful because it's brighter so they don't look like they're the same size even though they should be they are uh, so yeah <clears throat> it's close you know you could just do that and you could make this I don't know like 300 or whatever maybe 900 whatever speed you would want and hey there's your candy cane that might work for you uh, we can do something more advanced but it's gonna take a minute so here's what else we could do what you can do is instead of this stripes style we can come to layers and we can well first of all let's yeah we're gonna start with an alpha layer all right, and obviously this is the color that we're dealing with, so we'll leave it at red for now. This alpha function currently is just an integer of 16,000, which is going to return how bright this is. The only thing being affected by this is the brightness. So if I made this only 100, it would be very dim. 1,000 would be a little brighter, you know, all the way up to 3, 2, 7, 6, 8, which is 100% and that would be very bright but we don't want to just change the brightness of this color we want to give it a shape okay so a function which you can tell integer is a function see functions is lit up these are all the things that you can replace this field with so one of the things in here we can change <coughs> it to be is a linear section see that nice hard line edge now it's moving which and it's moving not only where it is but what size it is because both parameters both arguments of this linear section function are currently set to a sine wave so it's not only moving up and down but it's also growing and shrinking uh, according to whatever the sine wave is uh, if I wanted this to move faster I could move it to say 30 now the position is going to be fast but the size is still where we left it okay so it's not really what we want <clears throat> what you can do is change it to something more static like a boring plain old set in stone integer which is in here somewhere yep I usually just type it out it's only three letters and the fraction lit up right let's go back to the full thing all right let's let's also make this an integer so we, we don't have any motion happening so right now it's saying the linear section the center of the linear section the center of the segment is wherever you put in the position so currently it's at three two seven six eight which is the tip of the blade so we're seeing half of it here and the other half is out here past the tip which we can't see so if we move this to the halfway point of the blade which is <laughs> 
16384 okay now we've got a full blade because the middle of this linear section which is the full width of the blade it's 100 percent is centered on the blade at 16384 so let's say we don't want it let's just change this number here because this is the easiest way to do it let's say we only want a segment that's like 4,000 wide now that's what we're talking about that's better uh, so let's imagine we've got a red segment like this and then next to it a green segment and then next to that a red segment and next to that a green segment <clears throat> that is feasible so what we can do is a couple of things I'm going to change this to green and let's work backwards I'm going to do green first okay uh, one of so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this linear section, and I'm using my white. I'm using a mouse shortcut or a keyboard shortcut, right? Command copy. Now that's in my clipboard. We can change this to have more than one function. We can layer same way we can layer a bunch of different colors and effects. We can layer functions using guess what? Layer functions. You can have function number one and number two and number three. And you can keep going when you add to this. So if we replace function one with this God linear section that I have in my clipboard, that's one thing. And then if I change this to the same thing, now, of course, if we look at that, you can't tell that there's two because we left them in the same position. Now, remember, the position is the middle of the section. So this is centered on 16384. The width is 4,000. So half of this width would be 2,000. So at 2,000 in is the middle point of this little segment from wherever it is. So if we add 2,000 to the second segment, it will be butted up next to it. So we can do 18384. <clears throat> we look at that with the color. And look, now we have two segments next to each other. Just to show you that there's two, if we just move this an extra thousand over, you can look and see. Well, shows shows how dumb I am. What am I doing? 16, 17, 18 should be the beginning. Ah, yes, 18 is where the other one should start. So then 2,000 on top of that would make the center of the other one. So actually, I would want this at 20. See? Math. 2384. So you can kind of see there's a hint of, of two there. You know, and just to space it out for visual, you can see there are two segments, right? So when it's butted up one next to each other, it's essentially 2384. But we don't want them butted up anyway. We want a gap of let's make it equi equidistant right so this is 4,000 wide we want this to be a 4,000 gap for the red and then we're gonna put another 4,000 with the next green so essentially from the middle it's 4,000 and another 4,000 so 8,000 higher than this is all we really need to do so if we change this this is just showing you where they go which is not gonna be the final thing because it's not moving right we want it to be moving uh, so anyway, uh, what was I doing? Yeah, we're going to do 8,000. That's on top of 16. It's 24. And now we have a segment, a gap, a segment. And we can keep going. But before we keep going, now that you see how the spacing and you know that this is the middle, let's change this up a little. Let's make this thing move, okay? Let's make the first one move because the position is what we need to have animated, right? We want the position to not be staying still. We want this to be changing. So remember in the beginning, the default that came up was sine, sine wave, meaning going back and forth and up and down. So if we make the first one a sine, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up and down because the position is being driven by the sine wave. Well, let's drive the position with something crazy like random. Now that thing is just jumping all over the place, right? If we drove the position with pulsing, it would be kind of like the sign. It's pulsing, right? So you can see you can make it move based on any of these things. 
uh, the sound level. You could put it here, and if you have a loud sound, it would, you know, move all over the place. If you had silence, which this doesn't really show you very well because there's no audio, uh, but you get it, right? So what else can we drive it with? Well, battery level. Now, in the emulator, in the, in the style editor here, the battery level is just set to be 100% and then slowly decrease, and then reset it 100% and slowly decrease. So just to show that it does something. So here it would be following battery. All right, so let's get to it. What do we want to make it move? Well, we've got a function called saw, which is similar to sine. You can see it does the same thing. It has a speed, how many revolutions per minute, it has an upper value and a lower value. So a saw goes one direction. It go instead of sine where it goes up and comes back, saw just starts at zero, goes all the way to the end, comes back, you know, jumps to the beginning and keeps going. So this loops in this direction, which is kind of where we're going. Let's make it go faster. So I change the revolutions to 50. Okay. Maybe to be kind of like blades i don't know maybe that's good let's leave it at 50 because otherwise things will get blurry in the demo and that's it all right great so now what do we got we got a green segment moving well now we want the other one moving so what if i take saw here and i copy it oh by the way notice that this and this don't show up in the code it's because they're at their default values if i change this just by one digit it'll show up in the side over here same thing with the bottom if I made this one now all of the arguments will show in the code saw see they're all there but because these were the defaults they don't show up so either way you can leave them there uh, we, we do want it to go full from 0 to 32768 so I'm gonna go back to that and so that's why they're not showing okay that's something to know uh, what was it doing? So yeah, we want the other one. So let's take this saw, copy it, and we'll come down to the position on our second green segment. And I'm going to select this and paste saw. And now we look at just the second section, and it's moving. But what's going to be the problem here? We put in the same exact values. So guess what? They're in the same exact location as they travel. Well, we don't want that. Remember, we wanted an 8,000 difference between one and two so where do we how do we do this what you can do is instead of just having saw here we can copy that so i have it there's another function that's called sum and it comes with some defaults and this is one of the things it could do of many many things but what do we want to do we want to create the sum of our saw making it move in where it does and we want to add to it an integer of 8000 so now it's the saw but it's adding 8000 to the sand notice this is all within the position of the linear section so we're taking the position we're moving it along with a saw like the other one but we're also adding an additional 8000 to the position so now, when you look at both of them, ta-da, we got two of them. And this is all because we're in layer functions. We've layered multiple functions. So we layered in one of the linear sections, one of the little segments that's colored green, because our base color is green, to do a saw at this speed, all the way from the beginning to the end of the blade, and be 4,000 wide. Okay, so that's our first segment. And we make the same exact thing for the second one, except we're using sum to add an additional 8,000 onto it. And that puts it 8,000 ahead of the other one. So now what do we want to do? Well, we need more. So I'm going to copy this one, which is the second one that has the sum built in, right? We're going to go back a layer or, or just show the whole thing. And let's, let's break this up so we can see what's going on a little more like what's here right so first we know our base layer of this alpha color is going to be green I could just leave that up there and then layer functions is the next thing right so what do we have layer functions we have one is linear section you can do this you can break this up I can hit submit see nothing changes because 
it doesn't care that there's return, you know, new line return characters at the end. So to, to organize it and make it look nice, you know, I do this kind of a thing. I go, okay, alpha layer, and then that's indented. And then under that, I've got linear section is the function of the alpha layer. Now inside layer functions, we've got these. So I've got one that's there, and I've got this one with an additional 8,000 added to it. This last um, bracket, closing bracket, is the closing bracket to match this opening bracket. So I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to leave that there. And because I'm going to add more, but wait, there's more. I'm going to add a comma. I'm going to hit return. And I still have this in my clipboard. So I'm just going to paste it again. But this time, instead of only 8,000, guess what we're doing? 16,000. Add. And didn't that work great? So it didn't work. And the question is why? What did I do wrong? Linear section one, linear section two. Okay, it didn't even add it over here for some reason. So I'm submitting and I don't see it over here. That's weird. Let's go back to this. Let's take this linear section. Let's copy it. Okay, let's go back to the list of layer functions. I've got one linear section here. I got another linear section here. Oh, I know why. See why? Remember before I said that this guy is the alpha layer, right? This is the opening, this is the closing, because it's the last and the first. Well, guess what? Layer functions also has an opening bracket right there. That means that this is the end of layer functions. Okay, then linear section, this one starts here and ends here. This one opens and closes correctly. Okay, so I didn't I didn't chop off enough brackets. So now I've got correct bracketage. Now I can come in here and I can stick in my additional layer function with 16,000 as the placement. And ta-da! Hey, look, it worked. See, things work great when you do it right. So I'm just going to continue. I'm going to paste another one. Uh, and I'm not putting a comma after this because we're not adding any more after that. Well, yet. Right? So we can just keep going. Now, you know what's going to happen is we're going to run out. But I don't think it's going to matter because we're in saw. Uh, so I have to see. So let's try this at 24. And we got four. But see, they go and then it doesn't look like it loops very well. Okay. So maybe that won't work because it's going away. And that's kind of interesting. Okay, so we are starting at 8. Let's try the opposite. Let's come in here. Let's insert one before our first one. So it was 8. Let's just make this 0. See what happens now. The one on the back end. Oh, I didn't do something right. Oh, no comma. Okay, so it's still doing that. What if I make them all negative instead? Does that go the trailing way now? Yes. Okay. So they're all resetting, though. So that's not going to work. I am literally figuring this out as we go. So if it doesn't work, we're going to try something else. And this video is getting very lengthy. But this is fun, right? Yeah, great. Keep telling myself that. All right, let me think about this for a second. Mm. Yeah, so it's resetting. Okay. So you know what we could do? Uh, and I think this will work. See, they're all running on the same layer functions. What if instead, what if I copy this and I make a new, uh, I duplicate this. Let me go in here. What if we instead just did a separate layer and we only gave it one? So if I did just one layer, I got rid of this, 
Now we just have one segment, right? Oh, I left this guy out there. And I left the comment. Oh, now I cut off too many. So if we do one there, but then we use layers, and we close our layers all the way down here, and we copy the, well, let's put this back together because we know what's going on. It's just going to be individual lanes, lines now. So if I copy that and I paste it and I do this, now I do have two and my position is saw plus 4,000 twice. So let's just do, I mean, I could just remove the, the sum it's already there, so I'm just going to make one be saw plus zero. Oh, I did the wrong. That is the width. And the other one is hiding. Oh, I didn't put sum. Aha. That's why I took one without a sum. Here's a sum. Didn't I copy that? I thought I did. Nope, no sum. Okay, so I do have it here. I'm going to cut this out of here. Stop bringing in that comma. And the function, everything except that's the layer function. That's alpha, so I put it here without that comma. Nope, didn't do it right. Oh, because I put linear sec. I copied the whole line. Okay, so now I got one that has nothing, and then I... I'm going to add 8,000 to this one. And because I want it in order, I'm just going to move this up. Give this one a comma, get rid of this comma. Actually, I'm going to leave this comma because I'm just going to add another one. Uh, so I have no add. I'm adding 8,000. I'm adding 16,000. I think and then I need to go the other way too, right? So let's copy that one. Just lose this comma for a second. We'll insert one that's negative. So this is zero. There's no addition. You know what? I am gonna leave the zero. The uh, the so the sum doesn't need to be there because summing it plus zero uh, doesn't really mean anything. But it'll be more uniform this way. I can visually see. So this is plus sixteen plus eight. 0. So this one I'm going to make minus 8. Oh. Right? And then I'm going to add another one before that. So I'm going to make that minus 16. So we're going backwards. And I think I need a 24 at the front end. So we'll do that. I need a comma here. I don't need that bracket. Sorry about the air conditioning noise. What did I do? Too many. Nope. Uh, one, two, three, four. I have too many here. Nope. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe they all did four. That's what I did. I took took the way I should have been sticking it in. Yep. Okay. Four in there. So now we've got, mm, we're missing some, I need a 24 at the beginning. So we go back, I have 24 in here. This is a long convoluted way to do something. The easiest thing to do would probably just to be code stripes to not have a gradient. But we're working around it for the moment. Okay, so it kind of looks right. I'm missing, I think, one more in the end. That might work if I overlap it. So let me just try this. Uh, I added one at the end, right? In the beginning. Uh, yeah, so we'll make this one out of 32. Just eight more. Okay, look at what we did. Yay, we got stripes. So that took a while. Uh, so that's one way to do it. And the reason, let's go back to what I had, okay? We were using layer functions. I don't think this would have worked if I had 
I don't know. Lay of functions. This one was. We could try it and not have all those alpha layers. I mean, it doesn't matter. You have all the alpha layers as layers like this, right? Which looks pretty clean. Or you do one alpha layer with layered functions within it. So it's kind of like half. A, let's just try it. I mean, hell, you've, we've stuck through it this long. I'm going to go back to this. I'm adding the saw with, I'm uh, sorry. Oh, I did already. That's zero. Yeah, so this will be minus eight. We're just going to build this backwards like we did the other one and see if it stops cycling with that disappearing. I, I'm trying to get rid of the disappearing act. See, when we get to the end, uh, it looks like they disappear. So this might do it. I'm just continuing. I think we had to go all the way back to 32, right? So I'm just going to add two of them. And now I got returns. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. This will be 24. This will be 32. All right, what do we get? Doing, 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 doing. Now, see that whole beginning still disappears. So it doesn't work because it's a single layer and it's cycling the saw, I guess. And it's a single function for everything. So these layers, you know, they're not acting independently this way each one is acting independently like this saw is not when it gets to the end that's what's happening so here when this saw we're still we're, we're still using saw but we're just adding some adding some taking away some taking away some but the actual saw does get to the end and when it does whatever is drawn there is getting reset back to zero all together so that's why we're getting disappearing front end because it gets to the end and then it goes up oh, that's the end it's time for me to go to the beginning and it does with all the trailers but it's always going to start at zero which means you got a blank blade for a blip like that so if you want that effect there you go that's how you do that otherwise use individual layers okay now you're saying are we going to do all that for the red too nope we are going to cheat and because this is all happening, we're going to put red under the neath. Booyah! Hey, look, green and red stripes. <laughs> There's got to be a better way to do this, but there you go. That could work. And then that's your that's your color. You know, that's your hey, You can clean this up. You can back, back this up. You can make this all one long line if you want. But then when you go into a style, like let's just... I just copied it, right? So I'm going to examples and I'm going to pick the old examples of a layer style where it's just red. But here we have our effects clash, blast, you know, we go to lock up. We got lock up. Whoops. Lock up. Oh, I'm doing lock up. There you go. So we have effects. This base layer red is your base color. So you can just replace your base color with that whole thing because a layers. Can replace a color and you click submit and there's your thing with effects on it and lightning block and anything you might want you might not want any you could just use the base color and you could just kill all the effects by deleting them and leave yourself a you know a retraction and a power so there you go that was long. Enjoy.